So today I'm going to show how to make Maya like Max with the edge constraint and face constraint. So I've got a ball here and we're just going to click on a vertice and you'll see without a constraint on you can pull the geometry out however you like. But say we don't want that. Say we want it to slide along the edge or the face. So you come over right here to constraints, edge, and now it'll slide nicely along the edge of the geometry. Or if you select face, it'll slide along the face. So how do we do that in Maya? Okay. Come over to Maya here. We'll do the same thing. We'll get a ball out here. Go in vertex mode. And let's see. Get one square here is pretty good and you can see here geometry slide pulls out conforms anything you like but we want it to slide down the edge well how do you do that well you can double click the tool over here and do transform constrain here edge or surface if we go to edge it will work just the same and of course you can't pull out see it won't let it the geometry come out of the way. It's only going to follow what's there. And of course you can do the surface here too. Another way is you can turn it on and off in the modeling toolkit. And which is right here. Transform constraint, edge, and surface. And you'll see here, which is cool about Maya, once you do a, a hotkey it'll show you here what the hotkey is. And I put these hotkeys in. These are the same as what they are in Max. So I share the same hotkeys. In order to do that, you're going to want to come up to Windows, uh, Settings and Preferences, and then Hotkey Editor. And in the Hotkey Editor, you're going to want to make a new profile up here. You'll duplicate it, rename it, make it yours. Then to find where at for the constraints, you need to go to other items and then come all the way down here to modeling toolkit and right here slide off slide edge and slide surface and it's really easy to set this up they made it really nice here's you know this is an instance you just click on the line hit your hotkey in and then click yes and save it's just that easy and it works nice. This is a beautiful hotkey editor. Okay. See you next time.